She woke up in the middle of the night, really very early morning, with contractions. Before we knew it, we were in the car racing through the dark streets of, of Boston uh, on the way to Brigham and Women's Hospital. Larissa was one pound, 15 and a half ounces, so just shy of two pounds. She pretty much fit in the palm of my hand, although she was really too fragile to stick in the palm of my hand when she was born. The NICU was a very odd experience for me. So I had spent time there as a medical student, and I had spent a little bit of time there as a resident in obstetrics and gynecology. I was an intern, a first year resident out of medical school when Larissa was born. And I had the experience of being a dad, which was completely terrifying. I think understanding the medicine in that situation cuts both ways. On the one side, on the pro side, I think that as a physician, you're sort of part of the club. On the other hand, ignorance is bliss on a certain level. One of the real challenges that Larissa faced when she was a very small premature newborn was that she developed what's called an interventricular hemorrhage. We knew from the time that she was literally three days old that she would have some kind of consequence of that brain injury forever. What we didn't know was what it would look like. Recovery that we didn't used to think was possible is in fact possible. 